Good morning. Friday, finally, you know. Today we have a. I don't think I fixed before a video things, yeah? What do we have today? That's big. That's the one. It's a subwoofer and the name is uh, Una. The problem with this one, the man said it's not working anymore. So we have to find a problem. Okay. So I'll try to open this board, take out the board and see what can be wrong there. Yeah. Let me plug it <coughs> and check. Maybe it's working. Okay, it's plugged on volume okay let's see if we have any sound on the input if it's you now you should hear like a low frequency thing oh, I can't hear nothing so I suppose he's dead. Hmm? Oh yes. <clears throat> okay, you can't see really too much. But if I will... Uh, yeah, okay. If I will take the board out, maybe we can see more. See what can be wrong there. Power supply issue. Audio amplifier. Okay, I found the key. This looks like a solid subwoofer. You know, I need more space here. really need more space for jobs like that or TVs you know the audio the audio things you know they are nice to be fixed easy to be fixed and um, the satisfaction is, you know, it's on high level. Speaking of amplifiers, speakers. Okay, we still have a few more.
Okay, one more screw. One more. Okay. Let's see now. Yeah, the board is coming. Look what nice it's inside. Wait, this is not nice. Now the switching power supply, that's not normal. Should be a linear one. Okay, I'll take out the speaker. I'll take down the the, the speaker box. Okay. There should be a linear power supply. It's still plugged in. So we can check. Let me power on. It's on. Okay, and I heard a nice on the relay. Hmm. Let's check some voltages, yeah? I don't understand. My multimeter go crazy again. Oh, this is some high voltage amplifier. What's that? I don't even know what should I check here. Let's say plus. Maybe this is no ground. This is not ground. I found a ground. Ground, ground, ground. Here, 1.6 volts. This is not okay. 46 volts. This is alive. Minus 46 plus 46. That's been here together. We have and the monitor goes off and my multimeter go crazy okay let me unplug this because I think I know what the problem is here it is unplugged wow 
Not things are hot. So let me switch. I can't see. Anyway, yeah. What do we have here? We have a. Uh, how can I explain you? It's hard in English. We have like a voltage red reduction, yeah, by a resistor and by a tenor diode. So here we have plus 46, 48. Here we have minus 46 or 48. And on the other side, this also, this are getting very hot. And here we have some tenor diodes, 15 volts. Yeah. And probably are on short. I don't know, but I'll check. Multimeter, let's go on the continuity. It's not short. This is not short. The other one. It's not short. Okay, let's check, compare with the ground. No. And no. Okay, and that voltage is used for idea what's going on here 15 volts I should have 15 there you know what let's come with a power supply set up not 15 let's say 13 okay ground can see there and uh, here we plus yeah and it's okay it's taking like 300 milliamps it's fine let's switch now let's come here and it's okay 300 milliamps Let me check the speaker. Maybe everything is fine. Let me go down to the power supply. 6 volts is fine. Let's put some amps on the speaker. No, the speaker is good. You can hear the speaker. The speaker is fine. Okay, so what can be wrong here still? We have voltages. Plus minus 515 well, volts probably is for this one, for the input board. And it's okay. Because you have a chip here, probably is, yeah, amplifiers on this board. Plus minus 15, it's okay. Okay. 
Okay, we have a LED here. Probably for power. Let's check more. Let's plot this again. Oh, I love the classic things, you know, with a linear transformer and a nice amplifier with transistor or IC or... Okay, let's check with the multimeter. I see the voltage on this input board. Volts. We have ground. We have only 2.6 volts, that's what I don't understand. So, compare with the ground after these resistors, yeah? 2.6, why is 2.6 when it should be like 15? That's what I, what I don't understand. Because before of that, these, these are getting very hot. I don't think that's normal. Here we have a 46 on the other side and the monitor goes off. I don't understand why this is this is happened. 47. So something probably is getting hot. Because that power is going somewhere. Somewhere is going, but I don't know where. I have no idea. Some chip. Okay, we have light, red light, small red light. You can't even see the red light. I don't think it's normal. Okay, let me do something more. Yeah, I'll power off. Off. I'll take out this connector. Yeah. And we will try again to see where the voltage is getting lost. All the connectors are with some special glue. No. Okay, let's try now. Now we should have 15 there. On. Round. And we have 15 here. And 15 minus here. Yeah. A second. Okay, so without uh, without this board connected, without this board connected, we have mi minus 15 plus 15 for the input board. We connect or we have nothing, like 2 volts, so something is on short here. 
but the thing is nothing is getting hot. So what I will do, I will come with the power supply. You see I'm working a lot of the power supply. Because the power supply is capable of to, like big things. You can see many things. Based on what what you can read on the on the ammeter. So one more time. I have two pins and it's coming here. There. Let me switch to see exactly which is plus and minus. I don't want to. Okay. This is off. Yeah, it is off. So the plus 15 should be. here on the second pin the yellow okay and the minus on the, on the first pin per second okay and the ground it's on the middle how I expected okay Let's come with the power supply, 15, minus, plus is the second one. It's taking like 200 milliamps. I don't understand, this should be normal. And here, okay, here on this, yeah, 12. But on the other one, 20. For 200 milliamps, it's a little bit too much. 200 milliamps. So something should get hot. Mm, let me do it in a different way. Let me connect this here. Now I'll keep the ground on the middle. The plus here. Let me go down a little bit. Wait, what? And now it's fine. Okay, what about on this side? Even here is fine. Why? Oh, wait, 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 wait. One hundred million. I don't understand what's going on. Let's power up this one. Let's check again the voltage because it's weird. Voltage. And probably now it's working. Look at me. Probably now it's working. What did I told you? 15. And on the other one? Minus 15. And i done nothing. It's same like with the keyboard. You remember the piano? The Yamaha? Same thing. When I come with amps, the short goes. And yeah, now the light is fine. It's powerful. And I'm sure now it's working. So what was the problem? Hmm? That's sick. <laughs> I know it's fixed, but I just wish to know well, what was the problem. Probably some, some capacitor. So if I remember, was on the plus. And on the plus, let me see where I, where we have a capacitor here. It's going the ch chip. It's going, 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 going. And here is a capacitor, but it's a small one. I don't think that's a problem. Here we have a big one, but no, this is for something else. 
so it's fixed and I have no idea what was the problem we can check if it's fixed let me plug the speaker okay let's pour on on how we can uh, hmm? from amplifier maybe here no. low level input input nothing maybe it's not working I think it's working, I can hear something, but it's too low. Let's try on the old uh, methods. Can you hear? Huh? You can't hear? Huh? You can hear? The the low noise. The twenty hertz. It's not twenty. I think it's around fifty. Hopefully you can hear. So it's working. I don't know what kind of signal. This has to. Okay, now it's blue. I don't understand why it's blue. It's doing something when I... But I should have like um <clears throat> Input source. No, of course I don't have an input source. Because I don't have a jack here. On my iPhone. That's sick. Usually, eh, before. iPhone 6s. No problems, you know, just connect a jack to jack and jack to RCA and I can test any audio device or headphones with this one. No, what should I do? I should wear the the adapter on my pocket? No, oh, really? They done wrong this, this thing. No, that, that's not right what they, what they done with, with the iPhone. So I suppose I can't, I cannot test it. Oh yeah, for the computer, from the computer, from the computer. Okay, let's put this back. Let me find the jack to RCA. One second. Uh, you know what? I found an adapter. We have for sale this. <laughs> so we can check with the phone. Oh no. I can't use the jack. Uh, I need the RCA. Uh, maybe I can. One second. Let me try and play music. Music, songs. No, it's not playing on the speaker. Why? Of 
course I have no idea why it's not playing. Let me grab the other cable. Track to RCA, okay. Found the cable. Let's connect this to the PC. Left, right. Let's try again to play something. Headphones, okay. Headphones. And on YouTube. So how can I test this thing? Why is it not working? Yeah, the speaker is making some noise. Let me check with the headphones. Actually, testing is more harder than it than fixing. Headphones, okay. Headphones. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I leveled in. Maybe here. High level input. Let's check inside. We are doing something wrong. This one is not plastic, it's metal. <laughs> That's how you do it, you just solder the wire there. It's working. It's working. <laughs> okay, that's another weird fault. This is nice, it's powerful. 
Look, I can't see the the song, but he scared me. Anyway. So based on the input, because he's has some high Okay, so here is the input and it's going to here here on the D switch. Okay, one second. And this is a complex thing. I think this has the second part. And uh, on the second part probably has some uh, something with the, the other speakers and should be another box here. is powerful. Hello. So it's working. But I don't know nothing more. Well, how this is supposed to work. Yeah, speakers. You know what? I, I I don't even care. You know why? Because even if the input, you know that, you know that uh, amplifiers, the small amplifiers, yeah. If it's not working, I will just use a bridge to bridge the input of the amplifier, which is working fine with the input, and I will solve the problem. So even if here it's a, I don't know, input issue, the power amplifier is working fine. Yeah, so probably yeah, he, he cannot use any more the volume or the and the input selector, but I can uh, bridge the the amplifier input to the disconnectors, yeah, the RCA connectors. So in any case, I can fix it if there's a problem there, yeah. But again. He started working by himself. Hmm. Weird. Probably because it's Friday. Okay? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And I think see you later. I think we have one more job. Which is decent. Decent job, yeah? Thank you. Bye.